Stay tuned, animation! Welcome back, everybody. Yes, it's finally here. Stay tuned, animation. Yes, we're going to be learning how to draw a zombie from Plants vs. Zombies 1 or 2, whichever one you show choose. So as always, we like to start off with a little baseline and a top hat line. Make sure our guy fits into place. We're going to start with the head. That's always a good place to start because once you're ahead, you're never behind. You get it? Anyways, we like to lay out. He is a zombie, so he is a human, so we're going to give him a human form. Starting off with very basic shapes. A little bit of circles here, a little bit of rectangular bent, and some rectangles down the bottom of the legs like we're doing right here. Now he's kind of crazy crooked legs because he's a zombie. And the one thing to note about zombies is you don't want to give him straight posture because honestly, straight posture means energetic, ready to go. You zombies are more, you woke him up. He was supposed to be resting in peace, but really he was only in peace for like a minute or two. So you definitely want to get him a slouched, uh, a slouched appearance. You know, you don't want to make him too perky because he's going to be like, Hey, yo, where the party at? It ain't going to look right. So we want to make sure, not this straight back right here. We want to give him a little arch back. Put a little arch in the back. So yeah, just basic shapes. Now what we're going to do is dissect the skull. What I like to do is put a line where I'm going to end the eyes. Fit the eyes right in here. Just give me a little road map. And then right here for the nose and the mouth. Now, keep in mind, you want to do these very lightly. Always draw very lightly with these underlining drawings because you want to be able to erase and not show up. Now, I am doing this on the computer, but it's with an awesome program called Sketch Pro, and it's fantastic. It's actually the closest thing to drawing on paper, and I love it. So right now, we're going to lay out. It kind of looks like an alien. I know it's very rough right now, but trust me, we're going to bring him to life once it comes out for the epic shading. So. Now his teeth, he, he, he doesn't have the best dental plan. He, he's got a couple, of, you know, ain't nobody got time for that kind of teeth. And of course the two nose holes, because his whole nose actually just fell off. It happens. Happened to Cousin Mine, Cousin Pookie. Now he is tired, like we said, so you want to give him these bags under his eyes, give him dark shades under it. Give him his old man wrinkles. His skin's not the greatest. It's not a proactive skin. So you definitely want to give him some wrinkles, a little Harry Potter scar, but not on his forehead. We want to give it on his cheek to give him that definition of his cheekbone. Add a couple of hairs. I mean, he doesn't have the hair that he used to in his prime, but he does have a cute couple little, little, little curly cues. And of course, small pupils. That's the key. Again, his fit. He's got the Macklemore fit. You know, he got it at the thrift shop. So we definitely want to make it scraggly, nothing too sh shabby. Give the cuffs, nice, pretty thick cuffs but also give him a hole in his uh, elbow, as you see right here. With this, feel free to experiment a little bit. Give him his own little design. It doesn't have to be dead on um, with the character design. Normally you would if you were working on the game, but have fun. Create this as your own zombie. What I'm doing is mimicking the main zombie with the striped tie and um, the, his business suit on, but still, be creative. It's your drawing, and at the end, the more creative you are pushing other drawings, to your own really helps you grow as an artist altogether. So right now we're gonna add the cuffs to this and again keeping them nice and thick and then we're gonna work on the hands. The hands are traditional four fingers all together. We got four fingers and they're more of a, a square tip if you will and then we got the uh, one thumb of course and again we're gonna do it from the opposite side and now the good trick to remember with with uh, hands is the thumb is always on the inside of your body. So remember that when you're trying to get the proper placement, remember thumbs on the inside. Now with this one, he's got his, his right leg, I guess it would be, bent in. And now his other leg that we're gonna work on is actually got half cut off. So he got his pants half off, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna give him a little bit of knee bone connected to the calf bone. And these are all a little bit of sharp triangles to really give you some definition between them. And as we see, He's still got the rest of his pants, so he's not technically like trying to take off his pants, but he, he's still rocking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And now we're going to give him some Disney-style goofy boots, if you will. Actually looks very much like the Kingdom Hearts boots that we draw, and I actually love the style of these shoes right here. Let me give him a little bit of definition. Now with that heel, we want to tuck it back, make it smaller, so perspective being that the front of the boot is much bigger. Alright, the rough stuff's out of the way, now bust out the sharpie, let's do some defining. So right now, you want to take your time with this. Being that I'm on a computer, I have the ability to erase even my Sharpie uh, type 
pen that I got going on, but I definitely recommend taking your time on this one. But again, this this program will still make it look like I'm using a Sharpie, but it's nice because it gives you the freedom to kind of play with the lines and build upon the construction that you laid down. Now right here you can see, this is why we draw lightly because I, I originally drew a tooth that was far too big, but shrunk it down. There's the Harry Potter scar that we're working on right there. And Harry Potter, you got a scar on your cheek. It's supposed to be on your forehead. We can go ahead and define these, add a couple more here and there, and really play with these wrinkles on the forehead. Gives them more definition. Now again, it looks very rough, I know, and you might be like, man, this guy sucks. But trust me, it's all going to come together as soon as we finish cleaning him up. We just need to clean him up. So here we go. Now we're working on his coat jacket. And really all this is is just making sure the lines that you want to dedicate to, you want to commit to, those are the ones you want to take your time and slowly trace over. And again, I, I really appreciate you guys bearing with me. One, for the comeback being so late, but also for letting me try out this new program. It's actually awesome. It was easy for me to set up. I am going to do more paper drawings, but for now, I'm going to try this out because, you know, it's good to have multiple tricks in your bag. If you know how to draw digitally and on paper, you're the king of the world, baby. So right here, we're going to finish up on the sleeve and everything's looking great. Uh, we're working on the hand and now uh, what we're adding also is again cleaning up the angles and making sure the perspective's right but adding some fingernails and some some finger wrinkles finger wrinkles that sounds funny and then we're gonna clean up the jacket a little bit now let's work on them pants what a pants at man and there we go i like these knees it's it's a classic like 50 style kneecap I like him. And then mixed with like a 90s hip hop pants. I remember I used to give all my characters these baggy pants. And of course my favorite boots. These boots are made for drawing. That's what, that's what you thought I was going to say walking. But these, well technically they are because these zombie game walks. So guys, while I finish cleaning this up, I got to know the common question of the day. What is your favorite plant for zombies? Have you played it before? Which one was your favorite and what, what's your favorite plant to use? Let me know in the comments down below and heck, submit your drawings so that I can feature them on the next episode. But now we're cleaned up and you know what time it is. 60 seconds of epic shading. Let's do it. Congratulations, artists. You never know how to draw a zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. Hope you had a happy Halloween. We'll see you next time.